what is up it is snitchery how you doing today you know today we're looking extra derpy i accept it because assumingly by the end of this video we're gonna be looking extra beautiful we're doing a video that i've wanted to do for years and only this year have i gotten around to doing it early enough in the year to make it worthwhile we are going to be discussing the top nine beauty trends that vogue says are going to be and i quote huge in 2021 so like vogue like the beauty standard in i guess like fashion the nine things that they are sure according to their beauty experts are going to be massive this year i'm also going to be trying them all together instead of one at a time so that you guys don't have to so they're split between makeup and skincare and hair not only are we going to be beating our face potentially in confusing and conflicting ways but i am also giving up this good wig to the slaughter potentially but i haven't seen the trends i just asked my friend to split them between hair and makeup the latter of which we're gonna start with before that if you've never seen my face before and you're ever interested in seeing my face again usually i'm not wearing a bucket hat feel free to subscribe down below we would love to have you and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for joining me on this little video journey it means the world you know it does also if you like these sorts of videos the me doing stuff so you don't have to try it yourself go ahead and like this video down below art history series coming this week i am literally so stoked i can't even tell you i don't think i've ever been this excited about something to do on youtube and last thing before we get started this video is also sponsored by curology i mentioned in i think my latest beauty video that i was going to be talking about what skincare i have been using and now is the time but we'll talk about that later in the video for now let's get into it now the first trend i'm seeing for hair is hair accessories. It's talking about flowers done at a bunch of different shows and turbans and bows and stuff like that. I could just put the wig on underneath this bucket hat, but I don't think you guys probably want to be seeing it all video. My hair is just absolutely tragic right now. So instead, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this wig on and we'll see what we can do. Okay, hi. So lately I've been super into hair scars, especially when I'm wearing a wig like this and I genuinely just don't feel like blending it into my scalp. If you wear wigs, you know how it is. I haven't been wearing them lately over quarantine. So when I wear them now, I just am extremely lazy. The cool thing about hair scars is that they're super easy. You just tie them like a bandana. I'm making them look so much harder than they are because I'm trying to find the other. There it is. Okay guys how do we feel this makes me look a little bit i think like um a rabbit but it is also kind of cute i'm sitting somewhere in the middle i'm looking at myself in the mirror no, it's kind of cute it's kind of cute hair accessory officially achieved guys all right on to the next extreme diy dye jobs so i'm actually a little sad because i do i like this wig i haven't been wearing it for that long but in the picture it looks like we're going pretty intense so it was the look of lockdown and it's said to continue in 2021 only this time with added drama they're talking about lime green buzz cuts minty locks neon mohawks hot pinks so i don't want to dye this entire wig because i feel like that's 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 just gonna be a lot but i do have these little front pieces here and i know i have hair dye somewhere in this house okay yes hi so this is the good dye young poster poser face it's called hair makeup um it doesn't look like it's Ooh, it's kind of a weird consistency it's a little sus. Uh, it said to stir it up before use, but it looks like it's literally just, oh, this might get all over my fingers, but here goes nothing. I'm just gonna go ahead and, wait, can you even see that? It's much more uh, oily than I thought it would be, if that makes any sense. If you guys can see, it's kind of slick. That's gonna stick around underneath my nails, but for the most part, uh, I would say this is a pretty easy product to use, so let's go ahead and just brush through. It also does leave your hair kind of crunchy. I'm going to continue coating each side of my hair, and we'll see where we land. Color? super cool uh actual texture of the hair <laughs> less cool it's very stiff it did come off my fingers pretty easily with uh soap and water so guys we made a mistake the next beauty trend on this list that has to do with hair is fringe benefits the fringe is back and these are some extreme fringes they're showing us i don't think i can cut a fringe into this bang situation now without things being very messy and uncomfortable and not look good and i don't want to sabotage this entire look before we even get to the makeup sorry guys i didn't intend to have to skip one of these beauty tips but i do think that one is just not going to be able to happen i do know one of them 
color blocking. So color blocking says brighten up. 2021 was fucking terrible and it's time to celebrate that it's over. Wipe the darkness of last year away with strategically placed pops of Technicolor. So this is talking about not only just makeup but also fashion apparently. So I'm gonna get out of this champion hoodie and put on something a little bit more fun and then we're gonna get into the beauty of it all. Let's go. So <laughs> guys, guys, this is the best I could do, okay? Listen, I don't have that many hair scarves, which means that I didn't have many options to match said hair <laughs> hair scarves. And I also just don't own that many colorful things. Apparently I wear all neutrals. I'm learning a lot about my fashion choices today. Thank you, Vogue. So this is as color blocked as we're gonna get, but that's fine. You know why? Because we're here for the makeup, right? Okay, hi. So before we get into the actual makeup of it all, the very first Vogue beauty trend from this list that I wanna talk about is one that I've been talking about my channel for a really long time time. It's kind of been a, sorry if I keep getting distracted, it is snowing outside, it's blizzarding in Virginia. I feel like I'm watching a winter wonderland. Anyway, I don't feel like we need to be using as much foundation, concealer, powder, baking, all that good stuff or bad stuff in some cases on our faces. A lot of times we can just kind of focus on our skin and looking healthy instead of looking perfect and we don't necessarily need to use that much product. And one of the beauty trends that they make sure to mention is dewy skin. In a global health pandemic and with facts nations only just starting to roll now. <laughs> Can I read? Wellness has never been such a priority. Think bare faces, dewy skin, lightweight makeup, bolster your skincare routine, and nourish your body. Now more than ever, I think we could all benefit from a little kindness, and especially in the era of masks, we could all benefit from a solid skincare routine. Today's video is sponsored by Curology, which is a brand that I've been using for the past three months, two months and some change, almost three months, a personalized skincare service. You take what's called a skin quiz. You tell them about the concerns you have for your own skin and what you're hoping to achieve with your skincare plan. So that can be anything from skin texture to wrinkles to clogged pores and dark spots to acne and fine lines, pretty much everything you can think of. I specifically wanted to target dark spots, clogged pores, and skin texture because I don't know if you guys can see. I kind of have, I've mentioned for years on my channel that I have dark spots around my mouth and especially with masks lately, I felt like my skin was just getting really clogged and kind of rough in comparison to what my skin used to feel like. As much as I love skincare, I've always had a really hard time keeping up with a consistent skincare routine because there are just so many steps that I always found it really difficult. Which step goes where in a routine and which products and ingredients can work with each other. It just all felt very confusing. And my favorite thing about Curology is that once you take this quiz, you are paired up with a dermatology provider and they can answer any questions you have, but you do get a cleanser and then you get a specialized formula for for your skin, so I'll tell you guys what I'm using in a second. And then you also get one of a couple moisturizers that pairs along with your formula and what you're looking for. Three ingredients highlight in my specialized formula are tretinoin, boosting collagen, and I also have azeliac, azelaic, azelaic acid, improves skin texture and darkens light spots, niacinamide, what are these words? It's an antioxidant that reduces wrinkles and dark spots and improves skin elasticity. And on top of that, when you go onto the Curology site, you are given a essentially a list of things to stop adding to your formula when you're supposed to use different steps of your formula. On the back, it tells you how often you're supposed to use it. And with these little pictures here, when you're supposed to use it so you never get confused. This is my individualized Curology formula, the bottle of which is dirty, which shows you how much I've been using it. Every step of the way just feels like it's intended to purify down the experience of good skincare down to its most basic form, improving exactly what you wanna target without all the frills of like everything else. You can also get 30 day trial for free. So essentially you pay for them to ship it to you, $5 for shipping and handling, and you try it out yourself. And if you don't like it, no harm, no foul. You're out five bucks. You're out like a Starbucks drink. If you do like it, this is an absolutely addicting skin system because it is so damn easy. I have a link down below. It's not an affiliate link, but if you guys are interested, it does let me know that you are watching and enjoying my videos. Thank you so much for Curology for sponsoring. It has been a joy to use that skincare and it fits right into the first dewy skin Vogue beauty trend. Okay, so for dewy skin, I've started just putting my concealer on 
first and I've been using a very like orange based concealer really bright concealer it was oh this is this might be too orange <laughs> I feel like when I was using a really bright concealer I'll go ahead and start evening that out with my my pixie h2o skin tint it was brightening my under eyes up too much and making them look cakey when they literally were not and I'm always gonna have wrinkles in my under eyes right okay some of us some of us just have under eye creases and no amount of I had to accept this no amount of primer or product was going to stop me and my natural under eyes from naturally creasing I just had to come to terms with that fact and when I have a really bright under eye concealer it might give my eyes a bit of a lift it's gonna draw a lot of attention to the only area of my face I'm not able to rely on Miss Curology for I have stopped with all that this is the Wonder Woman Revlon highlighter for dewy skin I've started putting this on right at the beginning before I even like touch a bronzer or a blush or anything like that especially when we're following the advice of Vogue I don't want the fact that this skin is intended to be dewy and glossy and healthy looking and shimmery and summery to be lost in the sauce and if I know anything, it's that Bo <laughs> loves its blush tips. Okay, this isn't blush specific, but this says orange is the new black baby. Pantone might have declared ultimate gray and illuminating yellow as the colors of 2021. Wait, how do we know the colors of 20, 20, 2021 already? We're making a case for vibrant orange. Take the tangerine lips at Versace. You know, a lot of these brands I can't pronounce, but I'll leave it open to your imagination. They're saying orange is gonna be a big color for this year. So I feel like an orange blush is as appropriate a beauty trend to follow as any. I'm gonna go try to find one. You guys know that's like top of my bucket list for things I'm always hunting for. I'm gonna start with the NARS Air Matte Blush in the color Rush, which is a, a rhyme that brings me a lot of joy. That's a pretty orange. I mean, it's definitely more of a pinky orange. It's melting into the foundation really nicely. I think Vogue would approve of that. Anna, oh. Anna said, oh girl, you've made a mistake. Next, I'm gonna go into the BH Cosmetics Lost in Los Angeles palette. These two colors here, pretty judicious with this product because it looks like it's already <laughs> doing quite a bit. Guys, that looks pretty cute. I can't believe I literally clawed myself in the face, but I think that's pretty good. Vogue, beauty, tip or I guess beauty, uh, beauty prediction. One more Vogue beauty prediction down. Feeling blue, out with the old and in with the blue. So it's basically telling me that blue should either be on my lips or on my eyeballs. I'm gonna go ahead and go with eyeballs. I think I'm gonna go in with the same BH Cosmetics palette. And I'm gonna take this color down here, City of Angels. It matches my bandana. My bandana has got a little bit of light blue and a little bit of dark blue. Right now, I'm just going ahead and drawing a little wing on my eye because our next Vogue tip is da -da -da, dramatic eyes. So I kind of already got this with the blue going on, but it says with masks and face coverings being the new norm, it's no wonder that eyes are one of the most important parts of the face. Going back to a black eye, black is I guess orange is the new black. Black is also the same old, same old black. Still in fashion. I guess won't it always be? We're getting somewhere here, giving myself a little bit of definition up underneath my eye because I'm missing it in the blues a lot. I have not put on mascara, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's had to have been like two months, <laughs> okay? I'm gonna take a little bit of that blue and I'm also gonna put it up underneath just right here. We're already here. We're all ready to the last step. So I am one step away from looking like the ideal face of 2021 is essentially what I'm hearing. The last step is a bold lip. So it says in times of war or hardship, sales of beauty products tend to soar, which is particularly the case with lipstick. Problem is now we are covering our faces with masks, but a bold lip I can still respect because if you're doing your makeup for yourself to sit at home, you're probably not wearing a mask in the house, right? Unless you have roommates and you're in a common area, makeup forever, artist color, pencil and then a, tr a, a truly bold lip I almost feel like doesn't have to be that dark I feel like you can do a bold lip by just having a bold color I'm gonna go in with this about face painted lip color this is Halsey's brand this is the shade nudist Judas and this looks like yeah this is like this is a brown this is a a brown brown in a way that you don't normally see on the market. I'm gonna go in with a brush here. I've done this before and shown you guys. Brown color, dusted around the outside of my lips to create almost an ombre effect. This I feel like just gives a little bit more dimension. Y'all, that feels like a bold lip look. I think we are all 
vogued out. Changed my little color blocked outfit here. Individually, all of these vogue tips would have been really cute. Together, it's just kind of a lot. I'm gonna leave you here with this for today. Uh, thank you so much for Curology for sponsoring this video. Again, I have a link down in the description. If you made it to the end of this video, leave a rainbow emoji down in the comments, and thank you for being my friend today, and always, I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Bye, guys!